Hi guys, it's Suleiman again and today I'm going to share with you some amazingly powerful shortcuts which can be very helpful for you in creating charts. So let's start. Assume we have data here that is related to certain car manufacturers and their sales. We want to have a quick shortcut which can help us in quickly creating one chart for it. So the shortcut here is Alt F1. The moment you press it, you will get a quick chart. Fast, isn't it? My second tip is around the chart types. So for example, by default, Excel has a type which is called the column type or the bar type. If you create a new um, chart, you always get the same type. But this is not what I need. I want to have a line chart, for example, for every next chart that I create by default. So it's not that difficult. Just simply right click on the chart, click on the chart types, and there we have line. Let's say, for example, I choose a line, click on it, right click, and you will find set as default. Simply select it and press OK. Now, this has not only changed my current chart type, but it has also enabled future chart types by creating a new, I will see a new one, a new chart type. Let's say, for example, I want to change it to five in future. Again, I'll do the same thing. Right click, click on the change type, pi, and on the pi, I will click on set as default. OK, and then if I create a new chart, it will give me a pie chart. Now let's add another line here and let's see how we can add more data into a chart. So let's say, for example, we have a year's data, 2017, and another year's data, 2018 here. Now we want to create a chart for both the years and let's say by default we created only for one year and we want to add these lines into this chart. So simple. One way is that you drag it from here to here and you can get it added. Otherwise, you can simply select the data, control C, click on the chart and control V. You will have it there. So control C and control V will easily enable you to get your data into. Now you cannot see the legends here. So I will click on the legends and we will see both the years are available. Okay, so let's move on and see how we can auto populate our charts. By auto populate, I mean that when I update data in Excel, I could see it reflected in the chart here as well. So let's say, for example, I put here uh, in this chart data, August, August and its numbers. And we can't see it here because it was not connected. And how to connect it? It's very simple. Select your data and press Control T. By Control T, I mean we create a short table. While I created the table now, I'll press again, Alt F1 and create a chart. I can see August is here. Now, once I pull in September, let's say, it should automatically take it into my chart. Yes, it is, you can see here. Very simple. You have to make your data converted into a chart. And for that chart to be reflected as an auto-populatable data chart, create the data in the shape of a table. Control T is the shortcut. And then you have a data table, which will always bring the data to your charts. Let's say, for example, I pull in October now, and October numbers will appear there. You can see. November as well. And even December. So this is now a continuous process. You can carry on pulling in the data and it will be continuously reflected in your tables. Okay, then the next step I would like to explain here is copy and paste the formats of the charts. So this is very general while we are making management spreadsheet conversion into the charts and conversion into the PowerPoint. So we need a lot of charts and types of the charts to be manipulated and copy pasted. So how to paste the format of a chart to another one. So let's give it a try. We have a table here, which is 2017 sales data. And we have another table here, 2018 sales data. I will create a chart here simply again using the same formula, 
alt f1 i have a chart but definitely it is not exactly what we are looking at here on the other side of the screen so 2018 and 2017 chart formats are pretty different now now how to make them similar i will simply go select the old chart control c again i'm selecting the 2017 data chart pressing control c which is the shortcut for copying now i will click the 2018 chart i will simply go to home click on the paste and paste special you can also use the paste special shortcut key paste special is popping up here and it's asking me whether you want to copy the formulas or format simply i want to copy the formats and press ok you will have same formats for both of your charts simple copy and paste special further to this we often have problem with the sizes as well for example we have charts in our spreadsheets or in the presentations which are not matching in size and we have to drag and drop often to uh, bring them uh, kind of a, on the same scale so to avoid this and make a precise match of both the charts i will suggest you should go select both the charts and then you should go on the format and the format you will see size on the side so let's say i want to make the height on five centimeters for both of them and the width on 10 centimeters let's say and now we can see both of the charts are of exactly the same size one more quick tip on data formatting so for example we have here millions of the data numbers and generally to all honesty these uh, charts are meant to give a summary and a brief data so here the numbers are not really very aligned with the purpose of the chart so simply click on it right click you will see at the end format access click on it when you click on format access you will see on the side the menu for format access and at the bottom you have numbers click on the numbers and it shows data formatting codes so i would like to add a code here which will demonstrate what i want to see over there so let's say i put here slash then i put a dollar sign and then i press zero two commas space slash m so this is the format that i want to show and demonstrate on the table let's see how it shows up add and there we go we have now data in the millions which makes it quite handy to understand and simple so if you want to change anything here you want to change the uh, kind of a format here to euros or whatever it's up to you you can change and update as and when required